Welcome back to the Arizona Daily Mix. You know it's getting hot out, so that makes it pool season. And who better to talk to than Shasta's Pools to tell us what's going on out there in the pool world. Skip, how are you doing this morning? Brad, I'm doing awesome. Woke up uh, to a son's victory from last <laughs> night, so how can you not be in a good mood this I, morning? I know. Well, also, you're in a good mood because you guys have been so busy. Oh, yeah. It's been good and bad, but been so busy with, of course, putting pools in. Yeah. The pandemic has set you guys back a little yeah. bit. You thought yeah. that was going to really slow you down, but it got very busy out there. It did. It did. It was, uh, it is, you're right. It's a good news, bad news situation, even just for the whole nation. Uh, the pandemic uh, put a halt on much of the production, the materials that we need to serve families. And uh, a lot of that information didn't get to us until a lot later in the season than we'd, we have hoped. And although the industry locally in Arizona and the pool industry is up over 80%, uh, the skilled labor is down over 10%. So it's a little bit of a perfect storm for, you know, maybe not meeting expectations that we had initially set. So it, it is, it's great to be busy, but we feel for the families that have to be a little more patient than what we'd hoped they'd had yeah. to be. And that's what you're asking and, and kind of like I, I want to say it to people too, be patient with the material. It's not the builder's fault. It's not Shasta's pool's fault. It's just a domino effect that's been happening. Yeah. But what's been great is that you've been sitting with those families. You've yeah. been, and I like where you said family. She doesn't say clients. She said families because yeah. that's what they are when they come to you, yeah. family members. But you've been yeah. sitting with them, kind of like going through what their needs. And, and that's what I want to talk about when it comes to pool building because uh, I think I saw in the notes, it's almost 75% emotional, 25% in need. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, I, I mean, a pool in a backyard, I, I believe is 100% uh, emotional because you're dreaming about the experience with the family and just excited about floating. No one ever thinks about the maintenance or the, the equipment, who cares, that's all boring. All the guts, and, and right now those guts are in really short supply. I know that's a weird way to put it, yeah. but um, so because it's such, uh, an, an emotional decision, sometimes having to be patient naturally, there's an emotion that comes out that can be painful and, and, it, and it's been tough for us. But like you said, we love to sit with families and just ask them about them. Yeah. And, and uh, as I'd mentioned to you early, earlier, sometimes we tell them, you know, we may not be the best fit. We've tried to reserve some of the families that we've taken on because we, now that we're realizing some of that backlog and lack of labor, um, you know what, we'd really rather people be happy with, with somebody else if, if, if that's best for them yeah. than us take them on knowing that they're just gonna have to wait even longer and be disappointed. Yeah, um, what's really neat about uh, what you just said right there is that you listen to the family, you sit down with them. Yeah. Because there are times that you know people are emotional going, you know, I really want this, I want this uh, guitar pool or I yeah. want this big shape and everything like that. You and you that? have to stop them and go, okay, how long are you gonna live in this house? Right. Because the whole thing is the person you're selling to might not want a guitar right. or a certain shape type of pool. Right. And that's where you sit down and you, you map out also too, I think the best one is where, you know, someone looks and goes, okay, I want to put a pool from here to here in my backyard. And you're like going, yeah. eh, by law, you yeah. can't have that big of a pool. Right. You gotta look and Right. Stuff. No, we look at every one of those aspects and sometimes it is hard because families get so excited and they want to sometimes design the Taj Mahal, but it would be really easy and even selfish for us to just, yeah, sure, go ahead, spend the money. But our, our training, our flinch is to help a family understand what impact that might mean in the future and how it affects their finances. So we, we ask all those questions and, and candidly, sometimes the best decision is, you know, for us to not work together, but we just, we love enhancing people's lives and serving them. So um, sometimes saying the tough thing you know, it isn't the best. Maybe we can serve them in our service department or remodel department later, yeah. but um, we want what's best for them. Yeah, and we've been watching the screen here and just looking at the construction that goes in this and that. Yeah. Some people think it's just, okay, bring it on in, drop it in, and it's all done. Oh. No, there's a lot of labor goes into that this. That would be so nice, and there probably <laughs> would be no delays. Um, but no, it is, um, there's many phases. It's, it's almost not quite as complicated or complex, but it's almost like watching a home being built. I mean, there's electrical phases, plumbing phases, concrete phases, there's steel that's formed. So there is so much to it. I think it's, it's eye opening and watching that day by day by day can be 
very hard yeah. on some families. I mean, especially if the kids, it's 100 something out today, uh, as you guys reported <laughs> in the weather, and they're like, wait, wh why isn't there water in my backyard okay, yet? Yeah. And there's just a lot of stuff that's out of the entire industry's control right yeah. now. We, we've got really good friends uh, that build pools, even in Texas. They're a big name, and they're telling families that they're out over a year right now. Wow. So it's just, it's unbelievable. It's, uh, wow. Good problem to have. It is. All right, let's switch gears. I want to talk about two things. First thing, I want to talk about what you guys do to help people save money with their pools, even if they have a pool now. Yeah. That you guys are doing things. Yeah, absolutely. So our our service division uh, can actually take really green technology, wonderful technology, and upgrade some older equipment so families uh, can save a lot of money. But um, more than just telling a family what they should have, like you mentioned earlier, we want to sit with them and just ask them lifestyle questions to pair them with with what's best for them. Because yeah. not it's not a one size fits all by any means. We right. we really want to customize everything we do to meet that family's needs. So there's a lot of great green technology to help things become much more efficient. There is. Okay, my second thing is that it's very dear to your heart. It's very dear to this company's heart. It's a big thing that you guys push and it is pool safety. Yeah. And this is a time that we, you know, have pool safety month and stuff, but yeah. every, you say every day is pool safety. And, and yeah. you guys talk about that a lot on your website and everywhere. We, we do, and it probably comes with being a 55 year old family business and family members are still involved. My grandfather's 84 and has uh, a million grandkids and even more great grandkids. So um, it, it's constant. It's, it's really a mindset. There's a lot of equipment and things you can do to secure doors. Um, you know, windows even, uh, but it truly is a mindset. So that's, it's, it's such an emotional, fun experience that you can't let those emotions overtake. Wait, I've got kids right here. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's meant to be with family. It's, right. This is all about Arizona family. So um, you, you really need to have that top of mind, I think, to truly enjoy life. I mean, yeah. so anyway, that's, we, we always talk about that. And I know sometimes that's, well, you know, families aren't thinking about that, or I'm just thinking about floating and having a drink. Well, it's, well, think about the kids too. And, yeah. and it's more fun with them. It is. And, and what's great is on the website, there's all kinds of information on pool safety that you can do from making your backyard look like it's totally safe and everything. Absolutely. Tell them the website. Just get... Yeah, it's ShastaPools.com. And then check out, you know, Facebook. We do a lot of great blogs. And, and most of what we're trying to put out there is just educational. We Even if you're not using us, we want to help empower you with knowledge to just so you can enjoy life more. All right. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me, Yeah.